Hi. Hi. No, 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 it's okay. I'm a nice guy. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Peter. I mean, Albert. If you're here, you probably have already watched our Spider-Man budget trailer. But if you haven't, you can find it here or in the description below. First of all, I just want to say thank you again for watching our Spider-Man trailer. The two videos combined have gotten over 8 million views in less than a month. Some of you even took your time to comment or DM me on Instagram telling me how much you've liked it. So thank you for your support. So today I want to show you some behind the scenes footage from this project and break down a few scenes in details. Most of the behind the scenes was not documented though, unfortunately, just because we didn't have enough hands on set. When I first had this idea of creating a low budget trailer, I quickly realized that we would have a lot of limitations in terms of locations, props, and visual effects. So we focused on matching the framing and lighting in the original trailer to make it as immersive as possible. The whole project spans over 7 shooting days due to the availability of our cast and the weather. It was some of the coldest days Vancouver has seen in fall and we all put up with the weather by putting on a lot of clothes. That's how the door moves. The entire budget of the trailer, which was 38.84 Canadian dollars, went into purchasing the Spider-Man costume. With this mask and the suit of course. The very first shot we did was this. It was one of the more complex shots as there was a lot happening in the scene and we had to make sure framing and timing of the monopod dropping was on point. Next shot is the pumpkin bomb shot with the tennis ball. The only challenge with this shot was that it was very hard to control where the ball would land so it ended up taking us like 15 takes. So now moving on into some indoor shots. I would say like 50% of all the shots in the whole trailer came from this one garage and we really had to get creative in terms of lighting in order to shape this one location into different scenes. And you might be curious why we were always holding an iPad. That's because we prepared a shot list on Notion with a breakdown of each and every scene from where to shoot it to who is involved. What do you mean? It was basically our dictionary for the whole shoot. Yeah, we might just use some original audio. <sighs> You're gonna have to make some, is for sure. <sighs> Fighting oh, like Spider-Man's face. Yeah, and I hit Emily's knee into the door. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. Since we couldn't swing as fast as Tom did in the movie, we used the camera push shove movement to portray the speed and it turned out really solid. What are you doing, Brandon? I'm getting suited up as uh, uh, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. <laughs> Doctor Weirdo. <laughs> so it's constructed out of a uh, uh, trench coat. Uh huh. This trench coat. And, uh, this hoodie is gonna be repurposed as the Doctor Strange's cape. So it's pretty simple. Do this. Stuff it in. And then like, I need the belt first. So <laughs> strange. Strange. Could that strange? Hi. It's a strange. And then the final touch is the the medical model. I have to begin. Action. What the? Bro, he, he spent one, one minute and forty seconds oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. on one line. Two lines. There's two lines. <laughs> okay, ready? And action. They all die fighting Spider-Man. It's their fate. Oh, there's one more quick shot I want to explain. I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. Where Peter tries to grab the box from Doctor Strange. 
since we didn't have a proper web shooter, Jerry came up with this great idea of instead of shooting, we'll have the string tied up, pulled, and then have the clip playing back in reverse after. And I think it was genius and looked amazing. So yeah, it was a lot, a lot of planning and work, but it was very fun. I'm glad that you had a good laugh from a low budget trailer and our next project was supposed to come out by New Year, but we were slowed down so much by Vancouver's thick snow recently. So stay tuned. Since some of you have asked about the gear we filmed this trailer with, I've put together a complete list of all the gear we use in the description below. Moving forward, I'm going to make more Instagram posts about this channel and production on my personal Instagram account. So go ahead and follow me at albert.learn. I'm still kind of experimenting with this format of a video. So let me know what you think and what changes you'd like to see. And as always, thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay safe, everyone. Happy 2022, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Bathroom into the last film set. Sa Cheng, rap. <laughs>